banger. But uh, there it is, famous photo that everybody's taken next to. So, um, yeah, but pretty, it's a pretty cool forest, it's pretty spooky. But, oh, you hear that? Shit. Yeah. It's like a gunshot or something. Hang on, wait. Hey world, it's Johnny. Uh, just doing a bit of urban exploration and ghost hunting again. So for my 20 subscribers, this is for you. But yeah, I'm at an old abandoned um, lunatic asylum. Uh, pretty crazy, crazy place. So I'll sort of write more details down. I'm just going to sort of get, get into it because the sun's coming down. But we're going to go explore it, have a look around. Uh, the, this place has had terribly bad history. It was uh, people were just treated like absolute crap here, they were molested, murdered, not promoted to suicide but basically allowed to and it's got a terrible past um, so I reckon there should be some pretty, I wouldn't say bad evil energy but there's going to be some pretty sad energy so I've read a fair bit about this place and um, one I'd like to urban explore it and two I'm going to ghost hunt it so let's have a look and the first place I've just found is like this obviously a fireplace and used to heat the whole place uh, which is pretty cool. I like old fireplaces and stuff, so we're going to go have a look for the whole building and then we're going to start ghost hunting it. Cool beans. This is a old fireplace. Wow, it looks pretty cool. Some junk thrown in there. As with most abandoned places, there's um, lots of graffiti and stuff like that, but we're going to go inside and have a look. So we're underneath this building now, and um, seems to be pretty abandoned. There's a door open, so we're going to go in. I haven't been in here before in my life, or ever. So what you see is what I see. Wow, it looks pretty cool. Good old graffiti. Go have a look. Well, the main thing I've got to watch out for is a great big dirty snake. As usual, got all the graffiti from the people who come up here and like to write stuff. The usual rubbish, and looks like someone set a plank up to get in and out. So, yeah, this is the the open bit. Oh, there's a bit of wood up there. About to come down and spear you. Your old mate Johnny. Going to go have a look. As I said, I've never been here before. So, this is the first for me and you. Definitely looks pretty spooky. Alright, let's get up. Alright, let's go back up. Climbed up in here and I don't know, I don't mind some graffiti, some of it's interesting. An old fireplace or something. 
But this is a sad place, I don't I don't know if there's any kind of bad entity here, but there's the, from what I've got in there, there's definitely something here. Oh, everywhere I go, Ukraine, Slovakia, there's always like a feeding the pyramid with the eye. Watching me. But yeah. I can hear movements on the here. Can you hear that? Sounds like a bird or a rat on the roof or something. Anyone here? Hello? Like people say you can't go something a day, but that's bullshit. Alright, well there's someone walking up there or there's something on the roof or something. Anyone up here? Hello? I have a clue what that was, but it sounded like someone walking up there. But then it sounded like maybe, I don't know, it could be a possum in the roof or it could be anything. But that was pretty cool. Let's have a look. Oh, which is hot. Let's go and have a look. So, I don't know what this area is, but I've seen this fireplace on the internet before. Uh, I'm still existing. Pretty sure this place was built in like the 1850s or something like that. He loved his drugs. Wow. Hear that? It's back. I'm gonna go find out what the, that is. Because there's definitely other people coming here, I know. Fuse box. This looks like sort of a, maybe a main room or something like that. I've got these doors here. Yeah, but I'll explore everyone. It's an old, that looks pretty recent. A little tall or something. Well, it's not that good, I might have to get my head lamp. Yeah, looks like a lot of young people come up here and dare each other to do stuff. See all the floors giving away. Got a lot. But um, a lot of sad stuff happened here, I know that. There was a. Oh, it's terrible. Really, from what I read, why are you wasting time? I'm bored. These are their rooms now, I remember. Off the internet. Oh, it smells something. Real bad. Don't like when I can smell something real bad. Yeah, you can hear it. There's that noise again. I'm 90% sure it's a bloody bird or something up on the roof. Wow, 
look at those handprints, man. That's eerie. They've just been locked in here. A lot of them weren't even mentally ill. Oh, my luck is I put on so much weight, I'll bust one of these planks. Break my leg, I'll be stuck here. It wouldn't be too bad. In one of the rooms. Cells, as you call them. The doors are still here. Our light switch. Man, this place is awesome. But I don't feel any kind of presence or anything or anything really scary. People up here, like just not mentally well. Kids were here, women were here, men were here. And everyone knows back in those days when people were shipped off pretty quick, so there was no family shame. I don't want to worry about a dirty big snake in here than anything else. Oh, this place is cool. I sort of don't know where to. This is sort of my recce for the, the ghost hunt, so oh, all the floor's gone. I really want to go upstairs. Some crazy graffiti. There's some graffiti. It's like looking here. Oh, this looks like the sinks. Another old fireplace, maybe. Oh, yep. There's a the chimney. Look at that. It all sinks. stuff happened here. It's a main old booby trap for Johnny. Take me luck. There was um, stories about the patients used to be brought up from the river in like boxes at night so no one could see them. And they entered the first room and they had um that's where they shaved their head and I was reading on the internet this woman was telling about this account here and how um she's uh that was where she felt a really bad presence. Uh a really sad presence in there, so I think obviously she's maybe got the psychic touch and was picking up with that sad energy of people being brought here. I mean think about it, you've got to you know, first you sort of declared nuts, which back then was pretty easy to be declared. And then, um... Then your basically family drops you off here, because they don't want to look after you. And, um... You hop on a rickety old boat and you arrive here and have your head shaved and... Basically giving you some eerie stairs. And then um yeah, you become a statistic. But I'm pretty, I was reading on the internet about this place and oh, it looks pretty cool. Don't know what it's meant to be, but someone doesn't like Calvin. But um, they um, look at that. This is like a million old cigar boxes or cigarette boxes or something. Wow, this place is cool, man. This place 
That's it. Oh, I've got a door shot here. Time for a room entry, Johnny. Oh, I don't know. There's no doors are still here. They might doors or doors back then. This is all the rooms where they stayed. They are mentally insane. I'm pretty sure there was a lot of mentally insane people here, but I think after being sent here, if you weren't mentally insane, you probably would be. As I said, I haven't seen any of this either, so. You see what I see. Oh, there's a little door. So all these rooms are similar, they're all decayed and messed up. Go down here and have a look. Geez, you would, no, if you ever come here, don't fall. Make sure you've got a techno shot. Oh, this place is awesome. Can't wait to set up an EVP and stuff. I bet you it's going to be a lot creepier at night, but guys, I don't feel anything. There was that walking up top. I'll have to go back over it and um, my footage and listen that carefully, but I don't know what that was. Oh, something that really needs to be down there, underground. I want to go upstairs now. Can I get over here? Yeah, oh, that's a good drop, that one. I'll be right. Oh, man. If you're here, ghost, and you hate me, this is where you can get me. Just push me, scratch me or something. Fall straight down there. Boom. There as well. Oh, I got some. They said I had a demon in me. It's the only way I never known how to be. So I'm just reading this graffiti here. So it sucks you had a demon in you, mate. Go to church. Some really old, it's like off an old gate or something. Okay, let's go up those stairs. We're just down there. We'll have a look up here. Creepy old set of stairs. These old railings, hard oh, cool. The Ghoul Gang. Mm. I tried to be really defeating, I'm not that good at it. Of the Ghoul Gang 616. The Holy Ghost in me. Hey, that thing about to come down somewhere. There we go. Upstairs, and there's fucking boards again. Oh, 
Well, it's just basically like before. Really? It's a lot. AC, DC, TNT, fly on the wall. Must be an old congregation room or something. This is great. Oh, wow, there's some mad graffiti up here. I didn't have a ladder. Oh, Crazy clown graffiti. This one's mad. Let's go have a look around. Termites. Oh, Jesus. This thing about to come down on me. Jeez, you wouldn't want to come face to face something bad here because it's a slow get out. Some McAfee, remember the first devil song. Those who solve the mystery become the mystery. Yeah, it's a creepy place. Just found this little room. I'm just gonna go have a look around in there. There's some pretty mad graffiti in there. I just don't like treading on these buddy beams. <sighs> 12 foot up in the air. Oh, I don't like heights, they scare me. Ghosts don't though. I like them. Termites. Oh, Jesus. This thing about to come down on me. Jeez, 
you wouldn't want to come face to face something bad here because it's a slow get out. Mark of feeding, oh, the first devil's horn. Those who solve the mystery become the mystery. Oh, I don't want to become a mystery. Explore stuff. What is this place? It's crazy. down at the, the old thing's great, we've got a door shut. I tell you what, it's absolute double broken legs. Well, it's Johnny. I'm balancing on these beams, and I just found a door shut with 666 written on it. So, you know what we're going to do? Sort of balancing on this, holding on with this, and looking around. Nothing in there. I'm gonna head up here and have a look. Oh, we just made the walk across here. I don't like it. It'll go something anyway because you gotta push or something. Go on. So it just this looks like a bit of a hangout for people who come in and graffiti and you know, speak themselves out or whatever. Why not? Oh the maiden. Sparkles drinking. Unusual crap, golf ball, and the devil. Honestly, there guys, I haven't. I don't know, there's a thing walking up and down on the roof ceiling area before. I have to go back and retake and study it, but I don't know what that was. It sounded like footsteps, but that was a little bit creepy, but freeing me. I don't feel any bad presence or scary presence or anything. I really don't want to feel anything here right now anyway because I've got to run back over there like a like a bastard. So Obviously not blood. Help. Do not adjust your mind. Reality is at fault. I mean this is an old lunatic asylum so 
the system is corrupt. That creepy old toilet, not washing over toilets. So this must be the old laundry chutes. There's been a fire in here. Bad fire. Bad enough to burn everything, but bad enough to hit those rafters up there. Well, it's showing it's getting, starting to get a bit dark. I, uh, I've gone up in the world, I've got two video cameras now. Ooh. So, uh, we're just going to walk around the outside of it and uh, just have a look. It's, I don't understand why people get spooky about it. I mean, it's a spooky place, but you know, I haven't felt anything bad. I felt a little bit of sadness, but be expected when people are treated like crap and got mental health problems, especially back in those days. But hey, look at this tree going up the chimney. That's pretty cool. One way to clean the chimney. Let's show the guts. There's the old roof. Don't see that every day. These old windows and that. You might have a better chance, like filming outside, trying to catch something, looking out a window from the cell or something. The place is definitely falling apart though. It's um, definitely falling apart. It's all full of water, otherwise I'd crawl down there and have a look. Some old stuff. Only metal could speak. So, as I said, I'm pretty new to ghost hunting, so I haven't, I've only seen one ghost in my life, but that was like three years ago, and I was also verified by my friends, so, who was with me, so, that was cool, but I really want to capture one on camera, or cat or something, but I just also love the urban exploring side of it as well, you can't really lose. Been some rain lately. I have to get torch out some. I've got the other camera set up and the an EVP. Hopefully catch an EVP. I've, I've got footsteps on EVP and stuff before, but not that A-class EVP I'm after.
Oh, there's little fires. There's a fire there too. Awesome. Look in here, I've still got enough light. It's starting to get dark. Sort of good too. What's in here? Oh, it's another set of toilets. I don't know if you guys can see or not. E L R Y. Oh. Old toilet with a dead something. Creepy. Not scary. Creepy. Oh, watch out for bloody brown snake or something. Ah, oh, yeah, this is that. Oh, okay. Now I get the outlay of this place. Alright, Johnny's back. And, uh, it's dark, so I've got the torch going. I don't know why in the whole world you'd choose here to drink a beer. Um, let me tell him ghost stories and stuff. So, yeah. Sorry, I've got to get this. Oh, it doesn't go anyway. Oh, it's a hard walk out there before. Old fridge or something. There's those toilets from before. Starting to map the place out, it's pretty good now. Toilets. Just trying to work out where the best place I can put a camera and a light. 